So the track's quiet, it's the end of four-wheel drive practice day, the sun's setting in the trees at the far end of the circuit. Now the track's changed quite a lot between the two-wheel drive and the four-wheel drive event. Let's go and talk to some of the drivers and find out how they find in the track. When you get good laps you start flowing them and it feels good to drive and you can kind of concentrate and yeah, it feels good. Uh, maybe for the best driver, very interesting. For me it was a little bit difficult, <laughs> for sure. The track's pretty good. When we, when we first turned up, it really wasn't much to look at, but to drive and get a really nice, cool lap of it, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. You know, once you get into a nice flow, it's, it's not too bad. Really good track with uh, the grid is getting up yesterday with uh, the blue groove. Now, at the end of the two-wheel drive qualifying, we saw how the, the racing line was, was free from dust and all the dust was swept to the outside of the track. Well, that's got even better throughout the four-wheel drive practice day, and now you can see a big black racing line appearing. And that's providing a lot more traction than we saw in the two-wheel drive event. It, it's a, grooved up a lot um, since two-wheel drive and uh, there seems to be a lot more grip out there. There's a blue groove certainly forming um, where the four-wheel drive cars have obviously got a more even power distribution uh, going through there so there's more rubber being put down. On the on the groove there's a lot more grip than there was um, but off it there's even less than, than there was in the two-wheel drive days. And what do you find the hardest part of the track is? Uh, getting the rhythm over a double-double you really need to hit the second down slope to get your line through chicane i think that's where you can make a lot of time or lose it quite easily hardest part of the track is probably the doubles to try and get them correct every time um they seem to be a little inconsistent on where you hit them now the two-wheel drive event was probably won and lost in these quad jumps a very tricky part of the circuit let's see if all the drivers found it as difficult as neil crack did the quad is not a big problem in four wheel it's just four wheel is always hard to drive uh, to go fast and especially on such a fast track it's it's pretty difficult overall. The quad for me is very difficult. I have made a lot of tough mistake on the quad. The, the chicane coming onto the back straight uh, when you've got to go left on the off camber and carry speed onto the main straight. Um, it's pretty difficult. You've got to make sure you're on full power before you've actually exited the carpet to make sure you don't balloon the tyres too much and you've got a good line into the uh, the first corner after that. So that's definitely the part that's, that's make or break for sure. I think there's the, the, the wooden jump in the front of the restroom and the, the double double can be difficult. Lee Martin, winner of two-wheel drive event. Lee, what's the uh, hardest part of the track for you? The puddles. <laughs> um, coming on straight, the two carpet sections transition from the dirt to the carpet because the four-wheel drive is just so like high bite, like, especially like just so much steering. The hardest part is probably coming onto the straight. The, the four-wheel drives want to grip roll a little bit more so you can't carry much speed onto there. It's, uh, um, we can't talk about big stress. <laughs> now this front part of the circuit in front of the driver's stand where we've got three fairly low triple jumps is proving even more difficult in four-wheel drive thanks to the extra speed the cars are carrying. The front straightaway is getting pretty tricky. It's a little bumpy now it's, and it's really grooved up and had a lot of running on. So Yeah, if you go a little bit too fast and you can make an easy mistake then you lost a lot of seconds. I think it's improved a lot from the two-wheel drive event so I look forward to racing on it raining and to try to take grip and after the grip disappeared if if there was too much rain um, it was very interesting yeah hopefully it won't rain in four-wheel drive and uh, we'll see <laughs> <laughs> well of course as Lee well knows it has been raining uh, you can see behind us now though it has stopped the track is drying up um, but just to end this feature we put a camera on Victor Wilkes car yesterday during the dry practice rounds so let's go and have a look at an onboard lap with Victor so here we are starting off on the main straight down the back of the circuit. At the end of the main straight, a very tight hairpin corner, Victor getting a bit sideways there. Then these tricky triple jumps in front of the driver's stand, followed by a tight turn, and then this big tabletop jump. Under the timing line, that's the start line for qualifying. Then onto the quad jumps. Here he goes, Victor landing both of those quad jumps on the down ramp like he, like he should do, through this fast S section in the middle, and then onto the tricky uh, far end of the track. Oh, Victor clipping one of the pipes there, coming around these, these last few corners, onto the carpet, and then the transition back to the dirt, and then back to carpet, onto the front straight again to complete another. The lap. So maximum special thanks there to Victor for actually giving up one of his practice rounds and allowing us to strap an RC racing TV camera to his car. Now if you want to see the complete three minute video of his practice without me gibbering over the top of it, you can do now at effra.ws, otherwise stay tuned and hopefully we'll get some more dry running in today and tomorrow here in France. <laughs>